like straight up I feel for Bateman I really do I feel bad for him man because he he just can't catch a break for nothing um and and, and you know you do not and you hope that it doesn't but it's been the first two years and it's just been it's been a lot of injuries we've seen the promise we, we, we see the potential We see all that stuff But we it's been a lot of injuries man It's been injuries And you, you hope that this doesn't Define his career You hope that his career doesn't continue On this trend To where there are a lot of bright spots When he's on the field Plenty of bright spots But the injuries If it's injuries They won't let you see the potential When it's injuries It doesn't let you see what it could be When it's injuries You will just never know what the full potential of somebody could be because they're not on the field. Um, Rashad Bateman, uh, he was questionable going into the Bucks game. Um, and he played a little bit. He played a, a tiny bit of the Bucks game. Had a target, um, but obviously wasn't really involved. And then he came out early. He came out the game super early. Um, I think Harbaugh said after the game that it wasn't anything significant. It was minor. It wasn't anything crazy, but now uh, it's come out that the injury is actually uh, a little more serious than they thought. It says Ravens wide receiver Rashad Bateman is expected to miss a few weeks with his foot injury. They thought he was fine coming out of Thursday night's game, but additional tests revealed the injury would sideline him for a bit. Mm. And that's tough, man. That's really, really tough. It's very, very uh, unfortunate. Um... I know I've seen some Ravens fans say, "Oh yeah, DJ more time now," but I, I don't, I don't, I, I just don't see the Ravens making no significant move for a wide receiver. Um, my guy, uh, let me see, Blue Buster on Twitter, he said it perfectly because after that Rashad Bateman news came out, um, we tweeted. I said, "This is why I say whenever Ravens get good news on injuries, uh, we gotta appreciate it because most times we get news like this." Uh, and that I hope Rashad Bateman gets better soon and can come back completely healed because that's important. Um, that's the, one of the reasons why they hired Adrian Dixon from the Titans uh, to help guys in recovery uh, because the Titans last year, they had a whole lot of guys leave out with injury, but they had a whole lot of guys come back from injury too. So that's why the Ravens hired him in hopes of that to get guys back uh, the right way. Um, but yeah, I, I tweeted that, that, Again, we, we got to appreciate good good injury news because Ravens get so much bad injury news. And my guy, Blue Buster, he replied to my tweet and he said, and this is why I say we have to invest better at the position. They came into the season banking on one guy. That's real right there. That's couldn't have said it any better myself. I mean, we did say the same thing, too, but he put it perfectly. Um, we talked about. All off season, we talked about it a lot of them really making a move for a significant guy, but they didn't do it. They were like, "All right, all our eggs in Rashad Bateman, all our eggs in Devin Duvernay, Proche, Tylen Wallace," and it was like, "Okay." And a lot of people, were, "Oh yeah, they're giving the young guys a shot," but then they were like, "Oh no, 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 Demarcus Robinson, we bringing him on." Then they were like, "Oh no, 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 Deshaun Jackson, we getting him, Andy Isabella, we getting him." And the Ravens, they, they had a lot of chances for some other guys, too, but they didn't take those chances. We saw a lot of guys get moved and whatnot, but the Ravens just, they stayed back and said, oh, no, no, we got it. We're going to do it our way. And one of the reasons that we talked about, we wish the Ravens would have done more. Obviously, to make Lamar's job and the other pass catcher's job easier, that's cool. But in this case, we talked about it, too. What if one guy goes down? How will that impact the room? How will that impact the team? How will that impact the quality, the depth? And I know against the Bucks, everybody probably think, or a lot of people probably think, oh yeah, hey, we did, did y'all not see what we did against the Bucks? Because they did, they did. Everybody got involved, everybody was a part of it, which was great. But we also got to keep in context. Now again, that, that game went good overall, but again, Bucks were missing a lot of people. They were missing a lot of people, and hey, that's not Ravens' fault. Ravens still got to take care of business, but Bucks were missing a lot of people. So just keep that in mind. Um, I just simply don't think that this is going to make the Ravens be like, all right, we got to trade for a receiver now. I, I don't think that. 
I would love to be wrong. Hey, Ravens, prove me wrong. But I just, I don't think that. Uh, Harbaugh sort of flirted with the idea of them potentially trying to make some trades because uh, he said it takes two to tango. Hey, we'll see. Again, before the trade deadline, I, I just, I don't, I don't expect them to make anything, do anything significant, especially not on offense. I know um, some people have floated around the idea of a running back and that, oof, man, I just, no people talk about Kareem Hunt. Uh, the Browns ain't trading no Kareem Hunt to the Ravens. Um, some people have talked about some other running backs too. But I'm like, ah. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just me, man. A running back at the trade deadline, that don't move me, man. I know I ain't nobody. And Ravens, ain't, they ain't trying to move stuff for me. But a running back at the trade line, that, that, that don't move me. And I don't think that really moves the needle for the Ravens either. But that's just my opinion. Um, Harbaugh also talked about an oppressor. Uh, Mark Andrews, his injury. Um, he said he's dealing with, I think he said shoulder and ankle injuries, I think. I forgot what a shoulder and something. But Mark Andrews banged up too. He just tired, man. Mark Andrews tired. He, he, he said, he said I'm, I'm tired of being the number one tight end. I'm tired of people calling me the number one wide receiver on this team. I'm not a receiver. I'm a tight end. But he's like, oh, well, well, I mean, if y'all going to pay me like a receiver, I would have had no problem with that. But they, he already getting paid, so he ain't got to worry about that. But anyway, I think, I think Mark Andrews just tired, man. Straight up. He just tired. His body tired. And they said that his injury ain't nothing serious. But, um... With them saying that now, I don't know. This, we got some time before Monday Night Football. So they got a little, they got a week as of this recording. Because I'm recording this on Monday at 3.04 p.m. But, um, so they got a little bit of time. They got a week. So we'll see with Mark Andrews. But maybe they give him an extra rest this week. Maybe they, they it's the likely show again. We'll see. It obviously ain't going to be the Bateman show because he's going to be out. They said for a couple of weeks. Now, if Harbaugh say he's going to be out for a couple of weeks, again, Harbaugh been better though. He been be this year. He's been better. When he said Linderbaum was gonna be out for like two to three weeks, Linderbaum was out for two weeks, and he, there, there was some other injuries where he actually gave an accurate time frame. So hey, he he said he said a couple of weeks. So we'll see with uh with Rashad Bateman, um, and then with Mark Andrews, we'll see about him too. Now it wasn't all bad news. We didn't get all bad news today. Got some good news too, uh, because Harbaugh said that both. Um, Tyus Bowser and David Ajabo, they will be activated this week. On Wednesday, they'll be activated on the deadline. It's time. They'll be back. Officially. Well, kind of, sort of. Because um, this will allow them to, this will put them on the active roster. And maybe that's why the Ravens been carrying 51 men on the active roster for the past, like, two weeks. Have y'all noticed that? Like, usually Ravens, they max out the, uh, the roster. They always have 51 men. They got that thing filled out. But over the past... Three, four weeks, I think They've been carrying like like uh, 51 So now with Tyus Bowser and Ajabo coming back You ain't got to cut nobody I mean, you know, they're still going to make some moves and whatnot But that you can just put them right on the active roster And boom, you'll be set um, But that's a good thing He said uh, for Bowser He said that Bowser could end up playing uh, In the Monday Night Football game against the Saints He said Bowser's ready And I mean that was always the expectation, in my opinion, that Bowser would be ready before Jabo. He said Jabo still got some time. Um, so it's going to be one of those things where they carry a Jabo on the active roster, and then he'll probably be inactive for the first couple of weeks. Um, I said it. I said it this throughout this whole offseason. As soon as they drafted him, I said anything that you get out of David Ajabo this year, it's a bonus. It should be considered a bonus. You cannot rely on him. What I mean when I say that, it's not a shot at him, but since he had what, tore his Achilles in, when is the, uh, one of those pre-draft workouts? Well, before April. He had tore his Achilles in, what, what was it, March maybe? Whenever he did. He tore his Achilles back then in, I think, late February or March, whenever it was. So anything that you got out of him this year was a bonus. So he shouldn't have to be your savior. He shouldn't have to be, oh, okay, we got a job. Well, that's going to be the guy that takes us over the top. No, he, he's a bonus. He's a bonus because of his injury situation. I know that's why a lot of people, they, they had an issue with the pick in the first place. But, okay, that, that's over with. I hope that he does well. I hope that whenever he does play, he can come in and just set it off. Because uh, that would help the Ravens a, a, a lot, a whole lot. Um, but yeah, man, that's that. That's that. Um, so we'll see uh, what goes down. We'll see uh, 
what happens next with these Baltimore Ravens. Um, I don't think he said anything on Gus Edwards' injury, but anyway, it is what it is. So hopefully Rashad Bateman, he can get healthy, uh, fully healthy on his comeback. Hopefully Mark Andrews, if he plays on Monday night, cool. If he doesn't play on Monday night, okay, cool. Hopefully he'll get healthy. Um, and then with Tyus Bowser and Ajabo, hopefully uh, Bowser, if he's going to play Monday night, hopefully he's fully healthy. And Ajabo, they, they, again, they're easing them in. They're easing them in because, again, that's an investment. It's a second-round pick. That's an investment. That's a big investment. So you don't want to rush it because you don't want to ruin it. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we out.